Okay, my friends. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the English class. Okay, let's start with today's lesson. Let's see. It's bad. Good evening. Welcome. Okay, my friends. In the last class, we were talking about seasons, no? On Friday. Tell me, how's the weather in the number four? How's the weather? Yeah, it's it's sunny, okay? Good. How's the weather in the number six? It's, it's a snowy, yeah, that's good. How's the weather in the number one? Yeah, it's raining, good. And to finish, what's the weather in the number seven? Yes, cloudy, no? That's good. Okay, now let's go to the student book, okay? Three, reading. As we see this before, no, we saw this before. How to write an email, no? Now read, please. This let's listen. You read at home, and then we are going to, as says here, no, read and choose the correct meaning of the words in red. What is the meaning of mate? What is mate in Spanish? The same with the noun there, and the same with Barbie. Okay? Now listen, please. Three. Read. A. Below is Peter's email to his friend Stevie. Listen, read, and choose the correct meaning of the words in red. Hi, Stevie. How's life in Canada, mate? Are you getting ready for another cold New Year's Eve? Is it snowing there tonight? We're all preparing for our New Year's Day lunch, town under style. The weather's fine here. It's hot and sunny because it's summer here in Australia, of course. Mom and Dad are outside at the moment. Dad's cooking hamburgers and chicken because we're having a barbie for all the family and friends. Mom's talking on the phone. Nicole and Mike are at the swimming pool. Nicole swimming and Mike sitting in the sun. I'm making lemonade. Anyway, that's what mom thinks because I'm writing this email to you now. Well, have a lot of fun tonight. Happy New Year. Best wishes, Peter. You see, this is an email. Tell me what celebration they are talking about. Tell me, what is that? New Year's? New Year's Eve, no? New Year's Eve is the, the night, the last day. The last day of uh, December. That is the New Year Eve. Before the 1st January. That is the New Year Eve. Good. Now, how is the weather in Australia? Tell me. They talk about the weather. How's the weather in Australia? Tell me, how's the weather? Yeah, it's summer. That's the song, but it's the weather, the weather. It's sunny. This, this word sunny is the weather. And summer is the season. Good. No, they are celebrate they are going to celebrate the New Year Eve. No? It's sunny, so it's in summer. 
And what is his dad doing? What is Peter's dad doing? What is his dad doing in this moment? No ideas? Tell me, what is Peter's dad doing? Yeah, very good. His father is cooking. Cooking what? Turkey? Hamburger. Okay, good. And what is his mom doing? Read, please. You have to read. Read. What is Peter's mom doing? What is Peter's mom doing? Is here, you see, mom's mom is. Yes, it's talking on the cell phone, no? And what is Peter doing? What is he doing? At this moment, what is Peter doing at this moment? No idea. Yeah. He's making lemonade, good. And also his his mom thinks that, no? But now also he's writing this email. Yeah, that's good. Okay, now listen one more time, please. Listen one more time. And then tell me the meaning of these words, okay? Listen one more time, listen. Three, read. A, below is Peter's email to his friend Stevie. Listen, read, and choose the correct meaning of the words in red. Hi, Stevie. How's life in Canada, mate? Are you getting ready for another cold New Year's Eve? Is it snowing there tonight? We're all preparing for our New Year's Day lunch, town under style. The weather's fine here. It's hot and sunny because it's summer here in Australia, of course. Mom and Dad are outside at the moment. Dad's cooking hamburgers and chicken because we're having a barbie for all the family and friends. Mom's talking on the phone. Nicole and Mike are at the swimming pool. Nicole's swimming and Mike's sitting in the sun. I'm making lemonade. Anyway, that's what Mom thinks because I'm writing this email to you now. Well, have a lot of fun tonight. Happy New Year. Best wishes, Peter. Okay. Read the context, please. Read the context of the, this email and tell me the meaning. What is the meaning of mate? Friend or brother? Brother? Mm, it's a synonym of mate, brother. Friend. Mate is, in Spanish, means compañero. Pareja, algo así, como compañero. Okay? It's a friend. It's a synonym of friend. Not your brother. Okay. What is the meaning of down under? Canada or Australia? Yes, Australia. The people in Australia, 
the Australian, no, of course, they call his country like down under. Okay? They use this expression to say the name of his country, down under. And three, Barbie. What is Barbie, please? It's a party or it's a barbecue? Yes, it's a barbecue. It's a barbecue. You know, what is a barbecue teacher? It's where, where the people, you see, they fry or they roast meat, chicken, pork, or any other meat. Okay. When the people do this, in English, we call barbecue. Okay? But in Australia, the people says Barbie. Okay? It's not a doll, huh? It's not a doll. This is only it's a short version for barbecue. Okay? Good. Now, read one more time and tell me what's everybody doing. What is Peter doing? What is his mom doing? His dad? His brother, sister. Okay. Read please one more time. Read the mail. And then tell me what's everybody doing. I need six volunteers, okay? Raise your hand if you want to participate. Six volunteer I need. Okay, Frank. Frank, tell me the number one, please. The first. Oh, Peter's that. Yeah, tell me the tier. Tell me. Yeah, good. That says, no, in the mail says that, no? My father is cooking hamburgers, says. Okay. Another volunteer, please. Another. Raise your hand. Teacher, I know about the brother. Okay, tell me. But the things you know. Hey, Susanna, tell me, please. Steve is getting ready for New Year's Eve. No. Nope. Steve is the person, let's see. Oh, come on. Steve is the person who received the mail. He's ready for the New Year Eve. Yes, Peter is ready, or is getting ready for the New Year's Eve, no? Mm, yeah, also is sending an email because he's writing, no? He's writing the mail. Sitting in his hand, talking on the phone, swimming. Yeah, also is that Stevie, because they are talking in different countries, no? Stevie's in Canada. And Peter is in Australia. They are talking New Year's Eve. Yeah, also is possible, okay? But also Peter is, he's ready for the New Year's Eve. His family, they are preparing barbecue for all the family, no? Yeah. Thank you. Sorry for that, okay? Yeah, you're right. Also, he's getting ready for the New Year's Eve. Okay, tell me another. What's Peter's mom doing? Or Peter's brother doing? Or his sister doing? Yeah, talking on the phone. Yes, you're right. Talking on the phone, no? And his brother? Go to the mail. Tell me. His brother is? 
Yes. Peter's brother is sitting in the sand. And Peter's sister. Is swimming, no? The last. Okay. Now, the same of this you are going to work today. Okay. You're going to write a short email, short email, similar to this email. Okay. Remember, we saw this in the in the last in the previous lessons. Let's see. Uh, what is this? I guess it's in the workbook part. Mm. Yeah, here. You see, we did this before. Here we have some examples of emails. No. When you are going to write an email, this email, you are going to start like expressions like this, no? Dear Richard, or dear friend, or like that, like in our books, they start the email like, hi, hi, Steve, you see? You can start with that. That expression, no? Then, mm, come on, this is difficult. Then you can use these expressions to continue your email. How are you? Other idea, how's life? I am fine. Or you can say, I am in, in Trujillo at the moment. Or I am in Wang Kai at the moment, or I am in Lima at the moment. Okay. Then you can continue talking about the weather if you prefer. Okay, like this. Water, no? But in this time, you are going to talk about what are you doing and what is your family doing at this moment. Similar to the example of Peter, Peter's email. Then, when you finish, you are going to write a fair word, this. For that, you have to use some expressions, no? You can say, your friend, and then your name. Other option is, best wishes, then your name. Another expression is, see you soon, then write your name. Who other, the last expression is yours. It's possible to write here, no? Yours. And then your name. Okay? You are going to write like that. If you pay attention to this email, if you pay attention here, use the hello section, no? Hi, Steve. Dear friend Steve, or dear Steve, no the expression. Then you continue with how are you? How's life? See? Then you talk about what is your family doing? What is your family doing at, at this moment? You can say no. I am preparing for all New Year's Day lunch. Or you can say, as I told you, the weather. Talk about the weather. The weather here, uh, the weather's fine here. It's hot and sunny. Talk about the weather. Then, tell me what is your mom and your dad doing at this moment. Then, tell me about your brother and sister. No, like it says here. Then talks about what are you doing? What are you doing? When you finish the email, you write expressions like this, no? Best wishes, Peter. See you soon, Peter. 
at the end is your name. Okay? Similar to this email we are going to write. Okay, and for that we are going to use this. Ya habíamos practicado antes con esta herramienta, ¿no? Te voy a enviar el link. Vas a poner tu nombre, ¿no? Your name. Oh. Your last name. Empiezas a trabajar. Solo hay una pregunta, obviamente, ¿no? Es donde vas a escribir el email. Email or letter. In this case, email. Como ya te dije, empiezas con expresiones como hi, Ruben, for example, my friend, ¿no? Hi, Ruben. How are you? I am fine. Oh, I'm fine. I am in Huancayo. The weather here is cloudy. I am in Huancayo. The weather here is very cold, cloudy. You continue to talk about. I am studying for a test. My mom is watching TV with my dad. My brother is, and you see, my sister is. I hope you are fine. I am continuing studying. See? And then you, when you finish, as I told you, dear, or some, sorry, dear, no, other expression, no? Like, see you soon, Ruben. Bien, your name. Okay? It's like that. When you finish, you send me your email. Very short, okay? Very short. Are you ready? Yeah, let's work, okay? It's important that you practice your right. Let's see, okay. Please go to the chat, okay? Go to the chat, write your names, okay? And let's start. Chicos, así voy a ver más o menos cómo están trabajando este, para su proyecto, ¿ya? Para poder corregir una, algunas cosas de cómo están escribiendo antes del proyecto, porque algo parecido van a hacer, claro que mezclando tiempos, ¿no? If you have the example, I'm going to share. Voy a compartir en mi pantalla el ejemplo que escribí. También tienes en tu libro otro ejemplo, ¿no? Guíate de eso. Hello, Juan. Yeah, that's good. George, please. Juan, capital letter. How are you today? No, that's good. Right, please, right. Good, Reina. Susana. The rest, please. David. Open the link. Alexander. Open the link. Frank. Open the link, please. Genesis Kenny. Open the link. Mercedes, open the link, please. Good. Lisbeth, open the link. Susana, oh, Susana, you're here. Alexander. No, si te deja escribir. El email es... No. 
Al inicio solo pones tu nombre y ya ingresas y debajo te va a ir un espacio para que escribas. José no le escribe un email, no escribas cri, 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 cri o tic. Borra, borra, escribe. Write, please. Susana, de nuevo, mira, te comparto lo que tienes que hacer, mira. Abres el link, open the link. Oh. Yeah, let's see one more time, let's see. You open the link. Oh, come on, let's see. Mm. El email no es necesario, solo pones tu nombre y le pones unirte. Sí, voy a crear otro, ya voy a crear otro. El email no es necesario poner, como te digo. Solo te conectas directamente. En el espacio donde has puesto tu email, ahí es donde tiene que ir el, tu texto. Y no lo envíes hasta que no termines de... Si no te, si, si no te pide tu nombre es porque ya se ha conectado directamente con la cuenta que tienes abierto por ahí. Y se ha enlazado automáticamente. Es que esto, esta plataforma sí reconoce automáticamente los... Si tienes abierto algo, ¿no? Se enlaza directamente. Ya, hay otro link que dice email to. Mi, miren lo que van a hacer. Mi, miren, voy a compartirte de nuevo. Abre ese link. Donde ve, directo... Ya no me pidió mi nombre. Ve, directo me mandó acá. Donde dice escribe una respuesta, ahí escribo todo mi mail. Es que, como yo le he puesto email, tú has puesto tu correo y lo has mandado. No quiero tu correo, solo escribe ahí el, el email. Claro, es un email. Primero escribe todo el email. Good, George. Uh, remember the question mark, no? Continue, Elizabeth. More, more. Give me more information in your email. How are you? Is a question, so question mark at the end. Susana, the question is not, is not what's the weather. The question is how is the weather? How? With how are you, the same. How's the weather? Yes, the correct question is with how. How's the weather? Melina Maringo, please go to the uh, link to the email too, okay?
Claro, es que no le escribas tu email. Ahí tienes que escribir el correo, la carta. Yeah, very good, Susana. How's the weather? I am cooking hot cake for your nephew. Okay. That's good. Huh? Tell me, no? What are you doing? Then, what is your dad doing? Or oh, what is your mom? If you are married, what is your wife or husband doing? The same, what is your son or daughter doing? In questions, please use the question mark. The, uh, the question mark. Yeah, that's good. That's better, Elizabeth. That's excellent. And the rest, Jose, Melina, come on. Reina, continue. That's good. More, more. Give me more. Mercedes, come on. Let's work. Lisbeth, Nole, Jose, Nole. Alexander, come on, Alexander, let's write. Yes, you, empiezas con hi, Melina, y después hi, Maria, hi, Susana, no, your friend, the name of your friend. Then, how are you? I hope you are fine. Now I am studying English, no? In English manía. What are you doing? My brother is watching TV. My dad and my mom, they are, I don't know, they are talking, no? They are having a conversation. And me? Well, I am, you see? And then you continue. Good, Reina. Give me more, more, more. Frank Aquino. Let's see. I am fine. So I have a good time in Italy. Here we are. George, you, you remain, no? Yes. I'm reading, I'm reading, let's see. Mm. Yeah. At brief reading, yeah, you're right, it's okay. Only remember in the last part, by my best friend is a capital letter, not by, and it's, the rest is good. Lisbeth Mesa, Lisbeth, my parents are traveling, are traveling for the jungle, traveling, no, in this moment. Alexander, that's good, but give me more. Hi, Victor, comma, or period, no? How are you? Mm, let's see, Susana. Mm. Susana, um, 
How's the weather in Germany? Question mark. I hope you came to Peru soon. How's the weather in Germany? In, in, not for. Yes, and a question mark. A question. Ah, yeah, okay. For the for your project. Yeah, it's okay, but but these things you have to to correct. No, you have to to check before you send because the writing is very important, and is one of the most difficult skills you have learned. Okay, let's see, David. Hi, Arthur. How are you, friend? Question mark. I have your well. Yeah. Okay. No, it's very hot here now. Yeah, similar, similar to that. You can use as example in my, uh, but in the project you have to make a mix, a mixture of the simple present and present progressive. Okay, people are building more hearts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. Okay, let's continue now with our books, okay? Send me please your writing, okay? And let's continue with our books. Yeah, we work with this, with this, also with this part and this. Now this is the writing, you see? Now let's work with the revision, okay? The revision section. Please, let's go to the student book revision. Vocabulary, okay? Cross out the odd word, then add one more. Look, in the number one, with these groups of words, with these words, which word is out? What? Yes. Boots. Okay, yeah, you're right. And give me more. Another. No, give me one. We cross out and we have to add one. Here, one. One similar, one word similar to shorts, to skirt, to jacket. Dress, yeah, it's possible, dress. Another idea. Pants, yeah, that's good. Shares, yeah, that's excellent, see? Okay, let's go to the number two. What is? Fall, okay, yes, you're right, fall. Yeah, tell me another. What? July, very good. Remember, a uh, capital letter in this, because this is a rule. To, to mention the name of months, you use the capital letter always. Always. This is a rule. Always capital letter. Like this, teacher, July? No, this is not correct. Capital letter. Number three, tell me. Yeah, very good sweater. And give me one more. Salesperson, yeah, another idea. Could you repeat that? Yeah, that's good, engineer, another. 
Easy, no? One, the easiest one, teacher. You can use policeman, firefighter, baker, no? Any, any job, you know, pilot, okay. Four, tell me. Card, good. This is out. And give me one. Yeah, it's good. Hot, another idea. Yeah, cloudy, what else? Okay. Number five, tell me. Twelve. Because twelve is a cardinal number, no? And the other is ordinal number. Yeah, tell me another. Third, no? second, that's good. Third, no? Or any number, yeah? But ordinal number, okay. Six, tell me the number six. Season, yeah. And tell me another. Spring, yes, it's only one, huh? It's only one. A spring. Yeah, that's good. Do you know the vocabulary? Then that, that's good. Okay. Let's continue with activity B, okay? B. Activity V. Complete the words in the box. Let's use the these words. Salesperson, candles, raining, presents, and give. Tell me for the one. What is? Tell me any idea for the number one? No ideas. What? Handles? Yeah, you're right. It's a cake. So in this cake, there are 12 candles. It's a birthday cake. Two. Give? No. Yes, presents. Presents. I always get, you know, the people give me a lot of presents. I always get. Good. Three. Tell me, tell me number three. Yeah, good. That is give. I always, so I sometimes give my mom, my mother flowers on Mother's Day. Good. Number four, please. Yeah, good. It's raining today. Take an umbrella with you. Yeah, that's good. Five. Yeah, you're right, salesperson, no? Remember, for the question, what do you do is your profession, no? What do you do? I am accountant, an engineer, a doctor, a nurse, no? An engineer, uh, your profession is that, okay?
Did you finish? Okay, next. Activity C, okay? Ah, the months of the year. Okay, tell me that one. Yeah, excellent. February. Number two, November is the 11th. Good. December is the 4th. May. Good. Five. January. January, okay, not January, January. And six. Fourth, fourth. Okay, fourth. Let's continue, okay? Oh, before this, okay? I'm going to give you one link. Just to remember. I'm going to give you this, okay? About holidays. You know this. Only read and then we click. Now, when is Halloween celebrated? When? In October. Easy, you see? In. In. General October. Oh, is more specific, okay? Yeah, this is for you, okay? That's the same practice, okay? This is about holidays and months. Please go to the chat. Open the link. When you finish, tell me, okay? To, to continue with a provision. Share, please, Susanna, your screen. Yeah, that's good. Thank you. Another. Share, please, Frank. Show me. Nice. That was perfect. OK, let's continue, OK? The last activity in our workbooks. The last activity for today, let's see. This. Let's complete, okay, these short conversations using these words. Buy, camp, wear, prepare, and snow. Tell me, please, in Spanish, what is buy? What is this in Spanish? Do you know? Good. Come. Come. 
come bang no venir come where what is where what Vestir, no? Vestir, yes. I am wearing a jacket because it's too cold in Juan Cayo. Prepare is similar to Spanish, no? Prepare. And it's snow. Yes. What is snow? A verb. This is a verb. Como verbo? Nevar. Okay. Good. Yeah. Tell me. The one, please. What is... What's the weather like today? Tell me, tell me, what's the And snow. In this case, it's snowing. Remember this. Today, 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 today. Oh. When it's today, you know. Okay. Today. Today, you see. Yeah, number two. What, why? This is simple present, huh? The two is a, a routine. Why buy? Well, in this case, it's, is buying. Why is Jenny buying a present? In questions, you know, it's changed. No, you change the position. It's not like Jenny is buying a present. We change the position. It says, is Jenny buying? It's for her mom. It's Mother's Day tomorrow, remember? Yeah, three. Kelly, you... Today, not the same. It's present progressive. Yeah, you're right. You are wearing. It's in progressive. Number four. Where are your cousins? They. They aren't. Aren't. Come. Come, but in progressive, coming, coming. They are not coming to the movies with us. Why not? They, they are preparing. Yes, they are preparing dinner. It's their dad's birthday today. They are preparing. Okay, my friends, we are going to stop here, okay? Please work within your projects, okay? If, if you have, if you finish it, if you already finish it, your project, you can send me. I'm going to check it. And then you can record the video or prepare, no? For maybe you want to present it the same day of the exam, so. But if you want, if you have time, send me before the project. Okay. Well, my friends, thanks for coming. Thanks for your attention. See you on Wednesday. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. See you.